What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, just give me one second. Uh, sometimes I feel like it's super hard to find a good spot here in Miami. Most of the time it's very crowded, very noisy. So, you know, I need a place where I can just park my Jeep, talk about the things that I wanted to talk. I struggle with it. I don't know if you remember this spot right here, but this is where I did my first video for YouTube. It brings up, me it brings up some memories. Although my channel is new, it has almost like six months or seven. The Jeep looks a little bit different to, you know, that first time. Yeah, let's get into the video, guys. We have an interesting video for today because I had a lot of questions in the past about, you know, possible modifications and which are the best modifications you can do to your Jeep once you get it. So we're gonna be talking about all that in a minute. All right, so let's say you just got your Jeep. You saved a little bit more money to start upgrading your Jeep and to start modifying your Jeep. So in this video, I will give you my top five parts that you should look into right after you buy the Jeep. I'm gonna be more specific about this type of Jeep. This is my Jeep, a Jeep Cherokee XJ. But some of the parts that I'm gonna be talking about will also apply to other, other Jeeps. Just have in mind, this is my personal preferences. So the first thing, before you even start thinking about modifying your Jeep or start putting anything, my advice to you, make sure that your Jeep is good mechanically, right? As good as it could be. Make sure it doesn't have any leaks. Make sure your Jeep is not overheating. Take a look at every single little thing. Definitely, you don't want to start modifying your Jeep if your Jeep has any problem. So make sure your Jeep is good before you even start doing anything. So if I had to go back and do my Jeep all over again, the first thing that I will look into is having a good lift kit and good set of tires. Now I know it's two different things, it's a lift kit and wheels and tires, but I'm putting these two things together because you're not gonna lift the Jeep just to leave the stock tires. The reason why you wanna lift your Jeep is because uh, you want more ground clearance and you also want more room for bigger tires. So there's no uh, point on getting a lift kit without getting tires. So that's why I combine these two, two things together as a number one. You wanna get a good long arm lift kit in my personal case i got a short arm lift kit from rough country if i could go back and do all over again i will definitely save a little bit more money and get a long arm lift kit i'm not gonna mention any brands you can go on your own go online and try to look for different reviews and different opinions and different people but don't be extra cheap on this don't try to save a lot of money in this now why long arm it will give you the best performance on road and off road and also if you want to upgrade to bigger tires and bigger lift kit that long arm lift kit will stay with your jeep and you can reuse it in other applications the short arm has a limitation you cannot go too far with it all right so number two guys this is super super important and i'm talking about the steering if you don't do it right at first you're gonna have different little things coming up i would say there are three main components in your steering that you have to pay attention to and is the power steering pump the steering box and the steering linkage in terms of power steering pumps there are a lot of options right there there's this company psc the best kids that they have are a little bit expensive i will get something in the middle that will fit your budget there are other conversions that i've seen online there is some people that they do this swap from the wj jeeps the power steering pump from the wj's uh, from 2001 to 2004 the v8 version of the wj's they put the power steering pump into the xj's uh, this is definitely something that I have to look into. There is also people doing conversions from the Durango steering box. They say it's a great option as well. Mine is an upgraded uh, steering box from a company named Blue Top. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the results so far. At least my steering it doesn't have too much of a play. Finally, the steering linkage just definitely go for a heavy duty. And number three is more related to off-road performance. And I'm talking about the SYE kit or the Slip Yoke Eliminator. Because once you lift your Jeep, the drive shafts will get a very weird angle. And that is definitely not good for off-roading. And the more flex you put into your Jeep, 
the worst that angle will be. All right, so number four, and I think this one will be depending on your priorities and how you're gonna use your Jeep and how often you're gonna off-road your Jeep. The number four thing that you should look into is uh, frame stiffeners, and I'm talking about front, midsection, and rear. Remember, these Jeeps are unibody Jeeps. You can argue that there are other things more important, but if you're gonna take your Jeep off-roading a lot, this is something that you definitely need to get, for sure. All right, guys, so the last thing that you should look into is getting a set of lockers. Now, of course, this is just for off-roading purposes. You're not gonna be using lockers on the streets. That'll be a mistake, but if you really want to take your Jeep to the next level and if you really want to open up the possibilities of your Jeep off-roading, you definitely need to get lockers. All right, guys, so that is the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? If, in your opinion, there are things more important than the ones that I mentioned, just let me know in the comments. And also, if you agree with me, just let me know in the comments as well. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you next time. Take it easy.